Hello, my name is Renzo Rodriguez, and <clears throat> tonight I'll be talking about tourism marketing in Santiago. So, well, tourism marketing in Santiago is actually growing, and it's basically ran by most of the of the companies um, in Santiago, including private and public companies and ONGs. Um, what tourism marketing does is to promote uh, the tourism in, in the city so that more people feel interested in uh, going uh, or coming to Santiago specifically and uh, enjoying the attractions, the places uh, that we have to offer. Um, some people think that Santiago is just the monument. So uh, when they think of Santiago, they say, oh, I just want to go to the monument. And it's sad because they're missing many things that you can do in Santiago. Because there's also a set of mind that some people have and think that if a city doesn't have a beach uh, nearby, it's not interesting at all. So that's something that, that uh, um, should be uh, corrected. Because Santiago has many places where people can go and learn about the culture, about why Santiagueros are so proud of being Santiagueros, why we love our city. And those places uh, where we can actually go are, for example, the Central Park. Uh, we can go to the Monument. We can go to uh, the Aguilas um, Statue Center. It's around the monument, and then people can go and meet uh, the most famous um, Aguilas players. Um, also, tourism marketing um, became a lot more prominent around five years ago when the city hall, uh, ran by Abel Martinez, decided to um, promote the city a lot more uh, by marketing the city as the cleanest city in the country. And that attracted a lot of people and also a lot of opportunities for growth in the city, especially from companies that saw Santiago as a, um, as a uh, place for growth and improvement. And for that, we have received many different uh, companies um, and new businesses opening in Santiago. For example, uh, we got the the opening of a small uh truck from Krispy Kreme which can uh, I mean they actually sent those trucks to Santiago just to see how the the whole development of the city uh was going and they're growing and it's actually working out uh also we have received a development of some coal centers uh, manufacturing companies that have joined the free zone in Santiago and that has become really important. Uh, tourism, uh, tourism, uh, tourism marketing is also um, making uh, propositions so that places which are not considered touristic can become touristic. So uh, that's also a very uh, important fact about um, tourism marketing uh, because um, with these uh, considerations then Santiago can find a lot more growth not only economically but also but also from from the people um, tourism marketing uh, has become um, particularly interesting uh, all around the globe since cities have been advertising what they can offer. For example, there's, there are cities in the world that do not need any advertisement and still they do it. For example, if we go uh, and mention some cities out of the, out of the, the country, like globally, I will go and mention uh, Las Vegas, like Las Vegas, uh, Nevada in the U.S., um that is a city which is known for casinos resorts and places to have fun so people don't really need to be to be reminded that las, las vegas um is there because they know that is there we also talk about the city of new york everybody knows 
the city of New York standing. Uh, also Paris, uh, Madrid, uh, Bogota, and Colombia. So what marketing, what tourism marketing is looking for is not only to um, continue advertising cities, but also continue to stay in the mind of the people, reminding like, oh, this is an important city. Um, I am going to, I am going to show you what what are the things that you can actually go there and enjoy. So it makes it a lot more interesting when people can see and then they can go and experience and feel, uh, um, and feel uh, the, the the things that they can um, enjoy or experience in that city. Uh, just to conclude. Uh, uh, tourism marketing in the Dominican Republic has been actively growing alongside other uh, economic sites, uh, other economic sites of the country, and also alongside other type of tourism such as ecotourism, active tourism, uh, family tourism, and it's actually been really, um, really important. It's it's even more important for Santiago because now. We have been able to show the people the um, the cultural side of Santiago, the importance, their relevance, and advertise our city not only because of a monument, but oh, but also because of all the all the other aspects that the city has. And at the same time, the more people that come and visit our city, the more profit uh, the city will receive, which means that we will continue to be able to maintain those clean and beautiful streets and parks and even in uh in our neighbor in our neighbor uh in the neighbor and the neighborhoods sorry or in the hoods uh the we can continue to enjoy the purest of the of our of our city so thank you so much